stomach immediately starts like grumbling the second I, I click streaming screen. Yay. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. I've forgotten the idea of gloves because fuck it, it's, it's a lot of work and it's kind of annoying. And I've shown my hands on screen before anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something important. I don't have my headphones on. There's that. Hopefully the construction noise and like neighbor noises and stuff don't like really get in the way. I don't know. I can barely hear the music. No. That was too loud. Uh, okay, well, now it's the end of the song, so it's hard to tell levels. Uh, hide. Hide. Okay. Cool. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so... This is what we're working with today, is the Poppin' Cookin' Obentoya. So it's the bento. Um, Tanoshi san? Oh. Tanoshi o, uh, Obentoya san. Anyway. Yeah. We've got, oh, I guess it says Tanoshi Bento underneath. But, you know, you know. Um, yeah, so I first saw these at an anime con, like, yeah, about a decade ago. And I'm like, I want to try that. But I never bought it, because, like, my friends told me pretty much immediately it tastes like shit. <laughs> so I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to put myself through that. But now I can do it as content and finally scratch that itch of making really, really terrible looking candy. And ter terrible tasting candy. I don't know. I guess it'll look good, maybe, if it works out well. Um, so there's the rice ball, which is... Uh, it looks like a little bottle next to it, so I guess it's ramune flavored. The green blob that is broccoli is green grape flavored, which I'm not looking forward to because I don't like grapes. Fried chicken is orange flavored. That's nice. The panda rice ball is made out of the same stuff as the um, regular, like, triangular onigiri, uh, which is ramune flavored as well. Sausage is strawberry. The egg roll is lemon. And the spaghetti, weirdly enough, is purple grapes. Again, not really looking forward to that. Hey, TMG Glorbus. I can say it doesn't taste... I can, I can say it doesn't taste bad, just kind of strange. Okay, well, that's that's comforting, at least. I just ate lunch. So hopefully, like, decadently, like, umami egg salad is not going to interfere with that too much. I'm going to drink some water anyway. And it's going to be a bit until I eat it can't speak for this kit since you've never had it before yeah I was debating between this one and like the little burgers because they're so cute but I'm going for this one just to try it my nails look like absolute hell right now I need to cut them um <laughs> you think you got the donuts okay cool nice I don't think the store I went to had donuts but I don't know I was just like sitting there in the snack aisle going should I should I finally pull the trigger on this yeah I'll do it <laughs> and then I bought it it was only like five bucks or something so apparently it comes with seven packets a tray a fork and a squeezing bag okay cool and the instructions are all in English so I kind of lucked out with that one um I don't have to try to read the Japanese Wash your hands well. Prepare a glass of water. Well, I did just wash my hands. I was washing dishes up until 1.59 p.m. Fuck. My scissors are in the other room because I was sewing in the other room. Okay, I'm not going to use my Ulfa knife because that has my name engraved on it. So we're not going to use that. Hmm. 
Do I have other scissors? My roommate stole one of my pairs of scissors, and then I lost, or I left the other one in the living room. I guess I could use my sewing scissors. Ugh, if I can reach them. Don't tell my mom that I used my fabric scissors on plastic. She'll murder me. Oh, fuck, I can't reach them anyway. Uh, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get kitchen scissors. Kitchen scissors acquired. Involves a lot of water, just saying. Yeah, I've got a um, little glass of water or bottle of water here for easy pouring. Hopefully. I've got paper towel just in case I get water all over my desk. My desk mat is protected by this like plastic desk mat thing. I don't know. It's meant for like when you're actually using it for computer-y purposes, but it's so warped and out of shape that I keep it off my desk most of the time and tuck it away between some bookshelves and only bring it out when I'm like painting or something, which is why there's paint on there. Oh, excuse me. And there's probably construction noise in the background. Oh, yay. But at least they're not digging a gigantic fucking hole in front of my house. That, that helps. <laughs> That was yesterday. I was like updating all my housemates and like taking pictures at the window being like, look at this hole. Look, they tore up my next door neighbor's front pathway. They actually didn't tear up our property, which is kind of nice, but yay. Okay, let's get started. This will be a fairly short stream because I'm going to take advantage of the fact that it's sunny out and uh, go outside and touch some grass for a bit. Then I'm going to probably make Oyakodon for... Oh, there's an open tab right here. I started, like, peeling from the side. Oyakodon for dinner. Adult supervision and assistance required. I need an adult! I'm an adult. Uh, make sure to follow the recipe. Images are for illustration purposes only. Make sure not to use... Included tools for other than intended use. Okay. Be careful in handling sharp tools. Do not consume the powder directly. <laughs> make, sure, make sure to use water for the best results. I guess you could maybe use it juice. That would be interesting. Soft water of less than 300 parts per million is recommended. Oh, my water is definitely hard water. So, oh well. Not much I can do about that. Do not heat. There are no display tools inside this product. Serve food immediately after making this kit. Can you really call it food? Cut into small amounts when eating. Save this package for future reference. Why? Why? Okay. There's our box. And it's all in a piece of plastic anyway. Okay, so let's... For one package, only 110 calories worth of candy. That's not terrible. That is not bad at all. Spires 2024. Does this have gelatin in it? I'm curious. Sodium alginate. No. Nice. I love it when they use sodium alginate. Um. Okay. I'm gonna have my mess there. Okay. Let's open up this bad boy. Packaging is really cute though. Like, nice. Very cute. Straight into the garbage. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? We've got our spaghetti candy powder. Our broccoli candy powder. Egg roll candy powder and sausage candy powder. Why are these attached? I guess I could separate them. Nice. Fried chicken candy powder. Rice ball candy powder. And seaweed candy powder. 
This is our squeezy bag, our little mixy fork, and our tray. I'm gonna put the squeezy bag here for now. Put all of these here. Can this just be broken off? Should I actually need? No, okay, I'm gonna use my scissors for their intended purpose. Okay, now scissors can go over there to inevitably be knocked off my desk from my mouse. Aw, oh, there's a cute little panda face. There's molds, taco, hot dog. Cute. It's even got a little face. Ah! Okay, this is this is gonna be nice. We've got our little pori cup, which will not, for the life of it, stand up. Probably waiting for me to put water in it. So I'll just have to be careful. Okay. Guess it says to make the broccoli first. Woo. Okay. Make broccoli. Step one. Add a triangle cup of water to section one. Which is, uh, oh, this one. Okay, <laughs> there's a little arrow pointing down. That's really cute. Okay, so we're gonna get our water out. Let's see how it pours out of this like oil pour. I think this actually belongs to my roommate's brother and maybe I should give it back to him, but whatever. Oh no, it pours quite nicely, nice. Got a little bit of water in what looks like to be the egg roll one, but that's okay. Okay, so there's a triangle pack of wa uh, water in number one. Add powder from the green packet. Mix. It will become firm in three minutes. Ooh, boy. I guess I do still need my scissors. I don't like food garbage being in my room, so I'm probably going to dump this later. Oh, that smells sweet. But you know what? If it's like the really artificial grape flavor, I might be able to handle it. Ooh. That seems to be the majority of it. And mix. Wow, this is gelatinous. Cool, and I guess that'll become firm in a couple minutes. Next is the egg roll. Okay, let's see. Actually, I'm going to check something one second. Eh. Eh. Okay. Cool. Oh. I do have a notification, though. Ah. Cool. Okay. So, the egg roll. Add a full triangle cup of water to section two. This one, I'm not gonna show it as well, but it's got the ridges. So I don't wanna tilt the, the broccoli too much. Okay, so a full triangle cup of water. So just one, cool. Careful. Cool, okay. Where's the egg? Is this the egg? Egg roll candy powder. Oh, this one has a pull tab. Well done. Who's the bozo now? It's me, I'm the bozo. That's me mimicking the trucks outside they've been outside since monday it's gonna be all week i'm sure they're just gonna slowly work their way up the street okay mixing it 
I should probably try to spread it evenly so we get a nice flat egg roll. I just want to make sure that it's decently mixed before leaving it to set. Okay. It will become firm in three minutes. I guess it's been three minutes since the broccoli, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Um, make a sausage. Yay. That's going to be the cute little uh, octopus hot dog. Boy. <clears throat> Water. Drink it. Oh yeah, fucking Jerry Springer died. <laughs> Memory. I never watched Jerry Springer on like sick days, like some people, but I definitely watch an unfortunate amount of Fox daytime TV um, in school, like university. You just like sit there and leave it on while studying. And of course, my ADHD ass can't fucking pay attention to my homework and instead just Got sucked right into trashy daytime TV. First year was rough, man. Okay, make a sausage. Add a tri full triangle cup of water to section three. The hot dog. Add powder from the red packet. Mix so it will be confirmed in three minutes. Okay, let's just pour this. Oh yeah. Try not to spill it into the egg. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, my hands aren't too dry today. They're normally, like, like, cracking <laughs> level of dry. So I count that as a win. Okay, yeah, there is a little almost invisible pull tab on this one. Not pull tab, but I didn't smell the, the yellow one. Ooh. The red one really does smell like strawberry. Well, like artificial strawberry, you know. And pour that in. Oh wow, that's like really full to its limits. That's gonna be hard to mix. Oh fuck, yep. Spilling over. Oh, this is tricky, yo. See though, I'm actually gonna rip a little bit of the paper towel to clean my uh, mixing fork. So it's got a little bit of red stuff. I should have done this earlier, realistically, and I thought about it. I was like, ah, oh, it's not that bad. But this time, I'm like, nope, I'm doing it. Okay. <clears throat> What's next? We're almost halfway through the instructions. Wow, it's only been 24 minutes. I slept well last night, so like I can't even use the excuse of being like deliriously tired. It's just been a week of being deliriously tired and waking up at like seven every fucking morning because of fucking construction or the garbage truck coming at 7.10. Ah. <sighs> And the weekend is no rest either. Man, no rest ever. I might stream tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe we'll see. If I actually get around to um, getting through that first part of Nier, because I still haven't dared. I haven't really had the time. I've been doing too many little tasks. Okay, next we make the onigiri. Two cups of water this time. Okay gonna be in this one I think. Add two full triangle cups of water to section four. Okay yeah, so it is this one. And then I guess I have to form it by hand. One. 
I'm really glad that I chose a bottle that is easy for pouring. So I'm dog shit at pouring. I always make messes. So this is nice. That it's become a little easier. Oh, cool. You can kind of see like the yellow sticking out underneath here. Same thing with the red coming through the plastic. It's nice. Very nice. Let's poke the broccoli. See what it still feels very liquidy. Did I not mix it enough? Oh well. Okay. So this is gonna be the rice ball powder. Is this gonna make both rice balls? So I added two triangle cups. Add powder from the blue packet, mix until thick, divide rice in half. Oh, so this is where we get our fingies involved. This one doesn't have a pull tab. Onigiri. Nice. And it says in Japanese, onigiri. Focused for like a second when I went to go pull it away. Oh, that is a lot of powder. Oh, I didn't actually smell this. I'm gonna smell the empty package. Oh, it does smell like ramen. -A. I like ramen. -A. It's been like such a lifesaver um, in the past couple weeks where like, I'm just dead, no energy at the end of the day. And I'm like, you want to help right now? Something sparkly and hydrating. But I don't really drink much soda. So thank you, TMG Glorbus, for following me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> um, I don't really drink much like regular soda, like Coke or whatever. So sometimes it's just nice to have something. And that's what the ramen is for. And it's also just kind of fun to push the, 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 the ball in. And I guess that's pretty thick. Okay, now I need to divide it in half. Oh gosh. Oh, this is gonna be sticky. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm sticking my fingers into everything else. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh jeez, you're back. Had to deal with trespassers. So has the sushi coming along? It's coming. I'm making uh, the onigiri part now. The broccoli is setting the... Uh, hot dog is setting and the egg roll is setting. So now I just need to gather this fake ramune scented rice. Oh, didn't fully incorporate it. There's still definitely some powder in the bottom of this. So I'm just gonna mix that by hand. Oh boy, this is a mess. It's gonna be like kneading dough. Ugh. Okay, now I'll we'll split that in approximately half. Okay, there's half. Form rice bowl to match shape and size of the packing pouch guide as shown in the picture. That's cute, making tiny little onigiri. Because I make onigiri sometimes. Maybe I'll do that on stream one day. But it's harder when it's tiny because like your hands kind of use your whole hand to make regular onigiri, but this is like tiny little finger adjustments. It's like kind of triangular, there we go. Okay. I just want to bite into it, fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna place that there. Okay, and then time to make the, the panda. Okay, let's let's separate a little bit for the ears. Form it in a ball. Making actual food on stream takes 100% of your very small brain. Yeah, no, it, for me, I have to drag my entire like 40, 50 pound computer into the, uh, the kitchen which is a whole thing. It, it has straps on it, but it's still like a whole thing to set it up there and then like kind of reflection proof everything. And it's, it's exhausting, I get it. <laughs> I've done it a few times. It's usually like a special occasion kind of dealio for me. 
And I've made stuff at my desk before. I, um, I made an attempt at like Viva Puffs, the the marshmallowy, chocolatey, graham crackery kind of dessert with ras well, it's strawberry jam in the actual um, candy, but I made it with raspberry jam. Lucky you have laptop to carry on, so getting in the kitchen is easy. Yeah, this this thing's a beast. I haven't had a functioning laptop in years, though. The cameras, though, yeesh, yeah. Me just, like, setting up this camera was, like, breaking my brain this morning because I was, like, a little bit hangry, and I uh, just didn't have the patience to try to set it up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, it's kind of sticking good enough okay let's put that on the plate so I don't have to pinch it out no you're gonna roll okay well then you can sit there friend <laughs> um you have to get into grain physics just to sit the over <laughs> right oh god I have a science degree but not physics um let me see Okay, from the rice balls, add powder from the black packet into the hollow spaces of the panda face and small square. Um, so this. And this. Okay. Add any remaining and spilled powder to the round section. What round section? Oh, this one. Interesting. One day you'll have a streaming house cameras everywhere with Disney is supposed to put the streaming equipment. Yeah, but see, that's that gets expensive. I just have like a shitty little webcam. And don't bother with proper cameras. Okay, 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 okay. What is this gonna be? Hmm. Smells good. I don't actually know what the, uh, what the smell is. This is, I think that's ma, so go ma shio. It does, but worth it, yeah. Yeah, well, my camera's like, my regular camera is just, like, a point-and-shoot with, like, a crazy zoom lens, but not worth trying to set up with all this. I think it's, like, probably too stupid to use with a computer anyway. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Oh, yeah, I was talking about Viva Puffs. Um, yeah, in order to melt the chocolate to drizzle on top and also to, to make the, um, the marshmallow because I didn't use like gelatin I made marshmallow fluff basically um so it's like vegetarian or vegan which is something I used to care about but don't anymore but um I made that all with like a tea light so I had this like teapot warmer kind of dealio with this like glass bottom and you place a tea light in it and then a metal tray on top and then I just put like a metal bowl on top of that instead of like a teapot and I just whisked the chocolate until it melted and like same thing I whisked the eggs until and whatever it was eggs and sugar until it made marshmallow fluff so it was it was handy to be able to do it like right here at my desk and I've also like made cookies and like kneaded dough and stuff at my desk but had to leave to put things in the oven which is it's okay but like the cookies kind of made a huge mess and I really had to clean my desk off. I didn't have my desk mat on. I just fully gave up and used just bare desk. Okay, lightly press a triangle rice ball onto the small square. Oh, I see, I see. Where'd I put it? There it is. Um... Okay. Oh, that's funny. Look at that. Hmm. 
I'm just trying to get. Yeah, I'm going to top this up a little bit. Oh no, now I'm just making a mess. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Pretend that that isn't there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> My fingers had the powder on it. Shoot. That's okay. Okay. Now we need to make the panda's face. Lightly press the larger round rice ball into the panda face. Shit. I lost an ear. It ended up in uh, the eggs, but that's okay. Cute. Cute. Okay. Add smaller round rice balls in a round section and cover with powder. Well, good thing it dropped into it. How is it supposed to freaking stick when it's covered in powder my goodness it's very cute though uh, I'm just gonna place it on my plate and say that counts right god this black powder is like sticking to me he only has slight brain damage but he's happy yeah a oh, happy little panda dude he didn't see anything <laughs> can i see brain damage head trauma yeah so it rolls across the fucking plate <laughs> oh man okay Step five, make fried chicken, because we're going to pretend that that didn't happen. Okay, well, now it's asking for triangle or area number four to be used again, but that's full of, like, leftover ramen dust. So I'm going to pour that out. Oh, fucking shit. All this, like, black powder is getting into everything. Okay. Just gonna dump it onto my plate and thoroughly vacuum my room after I'm done. Shit, it's not gonna go evenly. That's okay. Ah, clean my fingers. You lost an ear, so that counts as head trauma. Yeah, yeah, it is rather traumatic, and it is the head. Um. Okay, we're gonna pretend that there's no black powder in <laughs> number four. And add a triangle cup to make fried chicken. Okay. Fried chicken. I think this one's orange flavored. Oh, it says, and it loads. It's karaage. Karaage. Let the stream be a, um, we're gonna reading practice stream. Oh, it is orange. Nice. Okay. Dump the black powder off my fork. The day pop and cooking makes an ice cream sundae kit. You're gonna lose it. Oh, that would be fun. Oh, this is watery. Interesting. Oh, nice. It's meant to look kind of chunky, like, like karaage. Nice, I like this a lot. Oh. Okay. Uh, mix until thick, divide in half. I'm gonna pull it out of this package area and put it on my plate for the division because I think I'm supposed to make spaghetti in here next and I don't want it too chickeny. Okay. It has the color of your old Cheetos and the consistency of applesauce. Yeah. It's 
actually a little thicker because of the agar. Um, or alginate or whatever. It's agar. Agar, agar! Um, okay. Now that's some two things there. Uh, I don't know. I've had mushy rice. Yeah, it's like you let your kanji solidify. <laughs> Yummy. Um, okay. Divide in half. Add two full triangle cups of water to section four again. So let's start with that. And this is going to be spaghetti. One. Two. Okay, and I think that's it for the cup, which is nice. Now we got spaghetti candy powder. My katakana reading is almost non-existent. I know the middle one is the. I think that's probably pa. And that's either n or she, and I don't remember. Katakana is harder. <laughs> I struggle with that. Looks like a failed attempt at making cheese. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's really easy to make like paneer if you've got cheesecloth and milk. I've never actually tried, but fortunately, uh, my my regular grocery store, um, like the big bigger one, sells paneer now. I mostly just don't want to deal with having cheesecloth, you know? <laughs> Probably tastes better. Yeah, compared to a failed attempt at making cheese. One of my family members made camembert once, but it didn't set fully, so the inside was very liquidy, and the outside was, like, harder than it should have been, and it was, like, it was a very weird camembert. Um, they have since made much better camembert and a bunch of other kinds of cheese. I like benefiting from that. <laughs> I would not attempt to make cheese. I feel like that's out of my scope. I didn't actually read the instructions. Add powder from the orange packet, mix. Yeah, this is grape again. Okay, mixing, mixing. I do I have to cut this into like spaghetti strips? Oh my god, this is watery. Oh gosh. <sighs> this looks like baby vomit. <laughs> like you just gave your baby with no teeth some applesauce. It's like one of their first foods and then they immediately vomit it up on you. Ayo. <laughs> like it's, it's pretty nasty looking. Put mixture, oh, into squeezing bag, twist the top, cut off one corner as shown, squeeze the mixture. Okay. I see. Oh yeah, so then you just end up with a puddle of, uh, of noodles. <laughs> squeezing bag. It's like the intro to how to use piping bags. Because you don't actually have to buy piping bags if you ever want to pipe anything. You just need, like, a plastic bag. You can use, like, a Ziploc bag and cut the corner off and use that as a piping bag. Instead of shelling out for, like, actual pastry piping bags. I've tried to do it before because I tried to make, like, macarons, like, macarons, but the, the almond kind, not the, the coconut kind. The coconut ones are easy. Uh macarons um a few years ago but i made them too watery so it exploded my piping bag and then uh and then they didn't set properly and they were just like in the oven chewy almond wafers they were like terrible on your teeth and i think i forced myself through like a huge batch of them because i had intended to try to sell them at like a bake sale i cheated and had some of it oh this is weird I don't mind it. Um, yeah, I'd intended to sell them. So I had a decent amount. And uh, I powered through that somehow. Don't know how my teeth ever handled that. 
Okay, I'm gonna put you here for now. Okay. Mm. Shit, I keep on ending up with little bits of this on my hands. Okay, twist the top. Squeeze it down. that out before I accidentally ingest a piece of plastic. Probably cut that too wide, but uh, how am I supposed to assemble this? Shit, the plastic stole my finger. I'll let the egg remove the front jelly pack. Bento box, however you like. Okay. Well, we're gonna put this right here. Oh my god. I'm just making poop. Trying to squeeze the last of it out. Yeah, there really isn't a whole lot. Okay calling that done. Definitely throwing this garbage out. I don't want ants. Do you want ants? Because this is how you get ants. <laughs> the black powder is almost as bad as glitter, right? Like it's all over my dust mat. Mmm. Oh, it tastes really good. I think it's also ramen flavored. Who knows if I'm eating paint flex or black powder. Oh my god, fuck, there's powder on this too. Shit, man. Okay. I'm gonna vacuum myself in my rug after. Okay. My fingers are very sticky. This is this is annoying. Okay. So let's Yeah, let's uh pack this to take a nice little picture of. Okay. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, before disaster incurs and I get water on my keyboard for the second time on stream, I'm going to put the cap back on my water bottle. Can't unsee the spaghetti looking like a small intestine. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm going to think about that while eating <laughs> these spaghetti. <laughs> that's so good. I like that. Gotta love a little body horror. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the egg roll out. Oh, oh nice. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. I'm gonna wanna roll it. Oh fuck, that is slippery. It come with egg roll. <laughs> Got a little rolled up eggy. Okay, let's try to get the broccoli out now. Can it just be pressed out? Not really, but I also don't want to pierce it too much. Okay, it's just, it's coming out. Oh, fuck, that's nasty. <laughs> oh my God, that feels so gross. <laughs> My hands are so sticky. Okay, that egg roll looks like a piece of bleached seaweed. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little sad, but I mean, it is kind of seaweed. It's got the the alginate in it as the like goopyifying material. <laughs> little panda ear. Stay, stay where you should. Hey. Oh, here comes. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's hard to see, but it's got like the silly little like face with the mouth. Okay. It's done. Okay, I'm going to try to 
Oh, fuck. No, I'm not going to try to pour the, the powder. It's, it's just going to be something that we're going to live with. And there's our bento. We have hot dog squid. Yeah, exactly. The, the taco hot dog. Well, taco is octopus, but I think they usually call it uh, the taco dogs or whatever. Um, yes, we got our, our broccoli. Grape flavored. Our small intestine spaghettes. <laughs> grape flavored. Our little pieces of karaage, fried chicken, which is orange flavored. Our little egg roll, which is lemon flavored. Our little hot dog boy, which is strawberry flavored. And our two rice balls, a regular looking triangular rice ball, ramune flavored. And our little panda, he's so cute. It's hard to, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, these are slippery boys. Um, but yeah, the panda, very cute. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this so I can post it on Twitter and then and then bone apple tea, I guess. <laughs> I might subject my roommate to some of this, so I'll only eat part of it. Eh, that's an aesthetic picture. Impossible in these light conditions. Is that a fuck oh it's a hair on my screen, okay. My plating could use some work. Bone application teeth. I like that. <laughs> I speak French. I can say bon appetit, but bone apple tea is funnier. Okay, so we got a nice little picture of it. Um, let's see. Rotate. There's our picture. I'm gonna plug my phone back in because it's oh it's at 77 now. It was at like 25 at the start of the stream. I have some water. <laughs> Board app, the free f nice. <laughs> Actually, I might take one more picture with the poppin' cooking box in the background, but I can do that without unplugging my phone. Okay, good enough. Whatever. I'm not an Instagrammer. I don't take food pictures for Instagram. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna keep that there. This I'm gonna throw out. Um, okay. What if I just want to eat the powder? It says don't eat the powder directly, but I want to eat the powder directly. Oh my god, that's actually <laughs> kind of tasty, the ramen candy. <laughs> ah! What does it remind me of, though? Mmm. You know those, like, dip and stick things where, like, you rip open the package and there's, like, powder in each section and you have this candy stick and you lick it and then you dip it in sugar and then you lick the sugar off of it and it's all just pure fucking sugar fun dip yes <laughs> that's what this reminds me of consistency wise if i were to just eat this like, stupid powder but uh i'm not gonna do that right now okay i'm gonna eat one of the rice balls actually mm, no i'm gonna eat half the broccoli Oh, fuck. That's so gross. The consistency. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, the venom. Fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess it does have venom vibes, eh? I haven't actually seen the venom film. Okay. I don't like grapes, so this is what we're going for first. The, the broccoli jelly boy. Oh, boy. Yup. And the consistency is just as weird as I thought it would be. Up front, there's like the fake grape flavor that I don't like very much. But otherwise, it's like... I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of just mostly candy-y. Um, yeah, the grape flavor is like, like uh, freezies. I sometimes eat grape freezies and it kind of reminds me of that. Not terrible. Um, <laughs> definitely not like the horrifyingness that my friends told me that this would be. Yeah. 
Not bad. Gonna have some water. Okay, what is next? Maybe I'll try one of the uh, karaage, the orange things. Okay, all right. Squishy. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same consistency, but like, yeah, it does kind of look like a piece of fried chicken. Doesn't have a lot of flavor right on the tongue. Kids when and don't never trust their friends say about popcorn cooking unless they're completely <laughs> solid enough advice, I suppose. Yeah, it's got like an orange flavor to it. It's very light. It's mostly just that same fucking weird consistency. You gave good life lessons. Nice. This is a thumbs up if you could see it. <laughs> Definitely very odd. Okay, what's next? Let's try half of the lemon egg roll. I'm just going to flatten it out again to chop it in half. Because I'm going to make my roommate try these. <laughs> She's going to hate me. Okay, well, I'm going to have a small piece. I'm going to make her try a little bit of everyone. Got another one for you. Okay, sure. Here's, here goes the, the lemon egg roll. God, I hate the consistency of these. Doesn't really taste like lemon. Okay, vaguely. Once you really like break it up in your mouth. It has like kind of an herbal uh, flavor to it for a little bit. But then it's like kind of lemony on the end. Once you've chewed it up and crushed it in your mouth. <laughs> okay, so we've tried three of the six items. I'm gonna go for some of these intestine noodles. Just take a little scoop off the top. A little noodle. Yeah. Not big on the flavor. Kind of liquidy. Consistency actually isn't as bad because it's liquidier. Not terrible. Again, great candy flavored. If you ask the ch if the chicken or the egg comes first, you need to ask if the kid or the fetus came first. Oh, geez. Only difference is one's good with ramen, she says. I'm making oyakodon for dinner, which is like the, the mother and child, because it's got chicken and egg. <laughs> so that's always like a fun thought thing to think about <laughs> when eating. So yeah, chicken and egg, rice bowl. It's pretty easy to make, it looks like. That's a family you're eating. Yep. It's delicious. Delicious family. <laughs> Um, my roommate thought she was buying salted eggs at one point for, like, kanji, like, preserved eggs, and, uh, she did not read the label, and I'm looking at, like, the receipt later, and I'm like, you know what you bought, right? That, that isn't, that isn't salted duck eggs, and she's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, you bought fucking balut, <laughs> and she's like, oh, oh, <laughs> And then she proceeded to wait like three weeks to try to fucking cook it. So of course a balloon had gone bad. And I'm like, good job. You wasted an entire fetus. Two, actually. <laughs> do you know what balloon is? Because it's a fertilized chicken egg. So you've got like a partially formed baby chicken in this egg. And it's like 600 calories for this one egg because it's partially formed and it's fertilized yeah no it, it's uh not quite my speed i do not have the bravery to eat that it's like fairly common in some cultures um or they like to just troll white people like me with it <laughs> i was at a party once and one of my friends ate like two of them just like as a snack and i'm like okay you do you with your like insane amount of calories like we're drinking on top of this the amount of calories you're consuming today we haven't even gotten to the lechon yet 
Yeah, not quite my speed. Same, cr actually, same person who once shoved an entire, like, gigantic mouthful of durian in my mouth. <laughs> Which was not the greatest experience. One of, like, another person in that group was, like, chasing after us with, like, a, a clementine piece for me to chase it with. Unapolog unapologetically white. Yeah, I am clearly quite white. But you do know it's in an Asian food aisle. Yeah, a lot of my cooking tends to be either Japanese or Indian. So, got got some range in my cooking at least. Despite being, like, so white it's reflective. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so I had the egg. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna be cruel and I'm gonna eat the top half of this strawberry hot dog Ugh. I should have cut from the side and not with the tines oh my god there we go breakfast cup noodles are weird oh interesting I have not heard of those I'm gonna look those up after taking a bite of the top the head of this unfortunate octopus hot dog god I hate this consistency bad though yeah how much of my arm do i want in here sure let me get my arm brick best cup noodles oh interesting okay so the image has sausages noodles eggs but also pancakes with butter and that just seems like a lot all in one bite. <laughs> They're weird. They're at Walmart and Amazon. Okay, I'll I'll take a look for them. That very interesting. Very, very interesting. I've got a friend who does like ramen reviews. I'm gonna tell him about it. <laughs> huh, wild. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna look into that. They're over salted. Aw, the, the eggs are demon spawn. Oh no, that's unfortunate. It always sucks when things are like over salted because like you can't do anything with it at that point. Like yeah, you could try to cut it with like sugar or something, but it's easier to add salt than it is to take salt away. Ah, <laughs> unfortunate. I'm gonna have some water. My hands are sticky. I really just wanna wash my hands. I'm gonna do it after. Mm. Uh, mute site that I don't get twitch sounds um let's see everything else makes your brain go into overdrive figuring out how everything works well interesting well like yeah like salty and sweet do work together if you've ever bought like gone to Costco and gotten those Chicago mix bags that are like kettle corn, like caramel kettle corn with like just regular salted butter or popcorn. It's so fucking good. Like my friends and I call it Costco crack because it's just, it's so addictive and the sweet and the salty just go really well together. There's that one episode of, um, oh fuck, what's it called? March comes in like a lion. I was going to say Shogi boys. Um, March comes in like a lion. Or a couple of the characters get a chance to kind of splurge at a restaurant and they get a bunch of things. So they get salty things and sweet things. And like, they're just like switching like, salty, ooh, nice, sweet, ah, it's so nice, salty, ooh, nice. And like, they just go back and forth and back and forth between the salty and the sweet. So that is cute. <laughs> And the weirdest part, the broth tastes like maple syrup and it works with the noodles. Wild. That is absolutely wild. I think I've made like, like sweet and spicy like dipping sauces. So like you take like sour cream and you put either honey or maple syrup in and then a hot sauce and you mix it in and it's like a really nice dipping sauce. Um, so in times where I didn't have honey, we've added like maple syrup. Got a big jug of it in the fridge. <laughs> Costco again. <laughs> I don't even have a Costco membership. It's just parents. 
And it works with the noodles, yeah. Like, that's really interesting. I do, I do want to try it. I think that that would be a worthwhile thing to try. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, so the last thing to try before I eat the rest off stream with my roommate, the big jug that comes from Canada is a good shit. Oh yeah, the big like plastic jug. We make. We're known for our maple syrup here, <laughs> which is. Also why I worry that I might have a hard time finding the breakfast cup noodles because Canada, but you know, whatever. Um, I can try. I also know people in the States that are coming up in like two months. Maybe get one of them to bring some up for me. I'll trade them Kinder Surprise that they can't have. <laughs> yeah, because y'all don't have Kinder Surprise. <laughs> Guns are more legal than chocolate and toys. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try the little triangle onigiri. Looks ugly as shit because this powder was odd. We have some form of Kinder Eggs, but do they have the toys inside? Because like, yeah, you get like Bueno. Bueno's good, like the the bars. But are they Kinder Eggs? Or like, are your Kinder Eggs just like the the hollow egg and then no toy inside? Okay, well I'm gonna take a bite of this. Ah, oh, I think this might be my favorite, but I think I worry that the consistency is gonna be just as fucking weird. They do, but it's two packages glued together. Weird, very weird. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> no, this is this is weird. <laughs> okay, no, no, you know the more you chew, the more the flavors kind of like get exposed to your tongue. The two halves of the egg. Oh, I have seen that, actually. I have seen that. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, actually, this this might be the winner. I do really like the taste of ramen. Mm. Not bad. Still not a huge fan of the consistency, but it is what it is. Oh, oh shit. That's like the freaking black powder. All over my thingies. And that's what the paper towel is for. No, I think it's stained my hand. Shit, I really hope that comes out with water. <laughs> Also, basic white girls obsessing over Nutella. The people I know that obsess over Nutella are Italian, but I don't know. I could grow up with Nutella, um, but it is not the healthiest thing. Full of palm oil, which is not great for you, not great for the environment. With how the the palm industry is, especially in like Indonesia, not great. So I try to not buy things that are like heavily palm oil based. So sales are probably through the roof. <laughs> yeah. Cause that's also like Ferrero owned, right? Is Kinder Ferrero owned? I don't remember. It's 90% chocolate, 5% hazelnut, and the rest is diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Actually, like no joke. Um, one of my family members gave themselves pre-diabetes by eating a shit ton of, um, like, like an entire fucking baguette with, like, white flour every day covered in Nutella, and they gave themselves pre-diabetes. Like, it's <laughs> no joke. At the beginning of the pandemic, I'd bought, like, a off-brand, um, like, store-brand kind of, um, hazelnut spread that was knockoff Nutella, and... I didn't use it a whole lot, so by the end, it went bad, and it got, like, really thick and chunky and weird, and it smelled disgusting. I tried, like, a little bit, and I just, like, I spat it out. I was like, nope, I cannot eat this. off brand Nutella isn't even the same. Yeah, I was realizing that. Like, I think I do prefer regular Nutella, but, like, for me, it's just, I, I never have it. It's not really worth 
adding to my regular grocery list or even as a special occasion. It's just whatever. I don't know. My teeth hurt. <laughs> I also don't eat a lot of candy, so this is odd for me. I'm gonna have a bit more of the uh the nudes. <laughs> my caption software. When I said nudes as an N O O D S, it used the other spelling, you know, the proper spelling. <laughs> yeah, it's not terrible. Okay, well, I'm gonna call that a win. Um, probably just gonna end it here. No one that I'm friends with is streaming, so like, I don't really feel like writing anyone. Especially because I have to go and <laughs> send nudes, yeah. <laughs> nudes! <laughs> Thanks, fingers. <laughs> yeah, the extra E there. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go and touch grass and be outside for a little bit. But I'm gonna see if I can stream tomorrow. If I do stream tomorrow, it's going to be um, near Automata again. Um... But that's entirely dependent on if I get through the first part of the game on my own off stream tonight or tomorrow. But I also want to do some sewing tonight, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It's a busy day for me. It's like been nonstop. Oh well, anyway. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. I've been... You saw nothing. I've been Silky Kumo! <laughs> Streamer that touches grass? I know, shocking. I actually don't really touch grass very often. I um, go outside like maybe once a week. <laughs> you see how freaking pale I am. Like, <laughs> uh, but I did like go out and remove a bunch of sticks from my lawn um, last week or the week before. I spent like two hours outside. Cleaned up my bike, cleaned up my lawn. But yeah, now I'm gonna go outside for a little bit and then come back inside and not consider going outside until Saturday, I guess. I have plans on Saturday. Woo! If I don't get to near tomorrow, it probably won't be until Monday. I doubt I'm going to stream on Sunday, but who knows what'll happen. Okay. Yeah, I need a break. <laughs> but thank you for hanging out and joining me in this weird adventure of candy. But Kazuma... I can't do it properly. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Ugh. Anyway. I do thumbs up a lot. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. It's been good. Candy's mid, but it's okay. The taste is fine. Consistency is just weird. Anyway, have a good rest of your day. And I'll be back at some point. Tomorrow or Monday or Sunday. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Ooh, I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> Uh, stream Deck, come on. Are you awake? Oh, now you're awake. Bye!